so i will tell you i have not made a single penny out of climbing mountains no interest in you know making money out of mountaineering free me kar rahe ho ye sab <laughs> i am like 10 saal se free me kar raha hu uh, during your peak to the everest, everest. um what's the death zone exactly kahan pe which which part of it is the death zone think of popcorn right you have seen how popcorn yes right? yes yes abhi socho wo popcorn ek pure do maale ke building ka size ka hai Oh, can you uh, can you imagine that? Yes. Now think of you know a slide which is at an angle of 35 degrees. हाँ हाँ. और वो पूरे slide में popcorn पड़ा हुआ है. ऊपर से नीचे तक. Oh. और वो दो ढाई किलोमीटर का पूरा slide है लंबा. Okay. Body is crushed to pieces. Death that you would not want on the cruelest people on this planet. What was the feeling when you reached the top of Mount Everest? When I reached the top of Mount Everest. Welcome to the Chillar, guys. Uh, we're shooting a fun episode. Uh, it could be a little serious for the audience today, uh, but uh, stick around. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. Today we've got Mr. Kuntal Joyshir. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. All, all good. Uh, he's the first vegan to climb climb Mount Everest, not once, not twice, but thrice. Actually, twice. 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 Attempt four attempts, but uh, getting to the summit twice. Getting to the summit twice. फैंटेस्टिक दो बार भी बहुत होता है यार <laughs> मतलब एक बार भी बहुत होता है बट वील गेट टू द स्टोरी वेलकम कुंतल थैंक यू फॉर बींग ऑन द शो ऑल हैप्पी टू बी योर हाउ इज इट गोइंग ऑल गुड ऑल गुड क्वाइट नॉट कंप्लेनिंग एट ऑल लाइफ इज गुड लाइफ हैज बीन वेरी काइंड सो ऑल गुड वेरी काइंड गिवन वॉट इज हैपनिंग अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड लाइफ हैज बीन जनरली वेरी काइंड लाइफ वेंट ऑन आई गॉट मैरिड वेन डिड दिस हैपन This happened after I came back. Look, date of your marriage, Kuntal. <laughs> don't tell me you don't marriage. remember this. December third, two thousand seven. If you didn't remember this, we would have pulled out a clip <laughs> and sent it to Mrs. Joyshir, <laughs> and would have gauged her reaction, reaction and put it here in this clip. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, what happens is generally twenty six, twenty seven years old. Like in my community, you were twenty six. I was twenty six uh, when I came came home. So you got married at 27. 27. Okay. So everyone was like, "In." बहुत डर लग रहा है भाई मैं सब तीस साल का हूँ अभी. नहीं पर कैसा लाइक कैसा होता है ना कि हमारे कम्युनिटी में कैसा 21-22 में is the right age for the guy. 21-22 पे to get married. To get married for the so guy. So my cousins have had their first kid by 22. 22. My cousins' kids are right now like my cousins at 45, 46 are at 23, 24. They are all getting married now. My cousins' kids. Your cousin's kids are getting married, my, and my kid is right now three years old. <laughs> so you can ima- imagine the difference, you know. Oh in, damn! In, in like the the thinking that we have. Yeah. But again, to each their own. Yeah, of course. I was like, I am not getting married at twenty two. <laughs> Heck, even at twenty seven, it felt a little early because yeah. I am like, अभी खुद को ही संभाल लेके ठीक आने के अभी you know all yeah, the personal life में आ गया. But what what made you say yes? Look, I was like. It's and and just to be clear, अभी तक mountaineering picture पे नहीं आया है. नहीं आया है. Fantastic. <laughs> so 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 uh, how what made you say yes at 27? Look, I was like anyway, I'm not dating anyone. I have never dated anyone in life. Uh-huh. I have no. This is not my forte anyway. Uh-huh. I'm not like the the guy who socializes and will you know find a girl on on his own and uh, yeah, yeah. like you know get married or something or whatever, right? Mm. And then mom was like, "Let's start seeing girls and mm. just the general regular arranged marriage." So I'm like, "Yeah, what's the harm? Let's see the girls." And mm. back then, while I had looked at the U.S. world and I was getting, I was developing my independent thinking. I was still a, to a very reasonable degree, not a rebel or or I, I would call myself a very big conformist. Okay. So that is how I was, and I was like, "Yeah, let's." Let's just get married to a girl in my community. Right. It's just easier, like you know, no, there, there there won't be any issues. And anyways, I have to get married at some point. Yeah, yeah. Might as well do it right now. Yeah. So it was like that. Like okay. you know, it was literally like me not putting any enough and thought into this. And she is a Gujarati. She is from my community. We are a Kachi. We are Kachi. Kachi. So okay. she was also she is also a Kachi. Yeah. And so just met a couple of girls. Didn't work out. Then met my uh, current wife mm. and uh, or my. Or, Full life wife, full life, yeah. and uh, <laughs> and so met her, and it was like a very very basic forty five minute conversation, and 
I didn't have many like what did you ask was was what was the first question you asked what, I, what what are some of the questions that she asked I'm very curious I don't know how this works uh, yeah ideally this conversation was supposed <laughs> to be about mountaineering about <laughs> mount everest and we just like transition to marriage and how what was the first question you asked like quickly that and then we move we, on to mountaineering we we move on to mountaineering yeah it was very basic conversation like our likes and dislikes and all i was looking out to figure out is whether she is fussy or whether mm. you know she is like like ye nahi ye nahi like ye mm. i don't like fussy people mm. i like people panchat nahi chahiye ya panchat nahi chahiye i am like you know people who gossip and people you know who are like uh, all around the place i don't like them okay. i mean uh, to each their own to each their own of course of course we'll, with everything we I mean. will put a disclaimer, disclaimer throughout the video <laughs> to each their own guys <laughs> let's just guys. not hate yeah so so i felt her i am ओके कूल यार प्रीडी कूल बंदी है मुझे कुछ ज्यादा है मुझे ऐसा कुछ है नहीं एंड देन शी सेड यस आई सेड यस एंड वी गॉट एंगेज्ड एंड आई वुड से एंड यू डिस्कस्ड माउंटेनियरिंग विद हर आई वाज नॉट अ माउंटेनियर यू वाज नॉट अ माउंटेन नेवर क्लाइंबड अ माउंटेन इन माय लाइफ बैक टिल देन एंड व्हाट व्हाट वी डिड डिफरेंटली देन टिपिकल कच्ची और गुज्जू मैरिजेस इज दैट वी हैड अ वेरी हाइब्रिड लिव इन पीरियड ड्यूरिंग आवर एंगेजमेंट दिस इज वेरी अनलाइक very unlike gujju or kachi families mm. who are super conservative mm. so she would come over and and be at my place and live at my place for significant duration we had like an 8 9 month engagement period and she would come hang out with my family live with us just be at our place and that is and pretty cool yeah Matlab, that, that was yeah. pretty cool because yeah. i feel agar like adjust in ho pa rahe ho day to day life mein correct you know ek 45 minute ka conversation is different puri life spend karni hai is different right you can't bhale maine yes kar diya hmm but so we went through that and then we got married and then again life mm. you know went on and everything mm. was good i think one of the common questions that relatives around us would ask you is kya hai pahad mein kyu jana hai pahad mein aur when did you tell them that you want to take up mountaineering full time um and uh, talk us about the entire experience kya so, hai pahad mein what kya, is there kya hai pahad <laughs> so i can even like vacation le lo aur aa jao that's that's usually the notion that is usually the notion correct like jaise meri uh, ek aunty hai ha to wo aunty mujhe hamesha aaj din tak mujhe jab bhi milne aati hai na mujhe yaad karati hai ki tune itne paise kharch like <laughs> count kar tune kitne paise kharch kiye pahadon pe jaane ke liye yeah. it takes like 5 lakh rupees for a full family vacation in switzerland to just enjoy pahadi hai a pahadi hai correct Why don't you do Mount that? Mount Everest पे चले जाओ <laughs> और वो कर लो आराम से चिल कर लो। चलो और activities भी हैं बहुत सारे। बहुत सारा। <laughs> right. Why do you need to go at twenty six thousand feet? Uh, sleep inside a four by four tent with five another smelly shitty people. <laughs> And I'm saying shitty in the literal sense, not like, like shitty yeah, from yeah. a human. You know कि वो लोग shitty people हैं। But you know. ऐसे लोगों के साथ जिन्होंने इतने दिनों से नहाया नहीं है प्रॉबेबली अपना टू नंबर भी बराबर से साफ नहीं किया है और यू नो हाथ वाथ भी गंदे हैं सब कुछ सब तरह से तुम गंदे हो उनके साथ तू टेंट स्पेंड कर रहा है वहीं जाके बाहर ऐसी हालत में जहां तू अपना बम एक्सपोज भी नहीं कर सकता है वरना सब कुछ फ्रीज हो जाएगा वहां वाई वुड यू स्पेंड पच्चीस लाख to do that shit so it takes very uh, just just to like put it out there how much does it cost to peak mount everest look it it will easily cost about 25 to 30 lakh rupees okay. given that the dollar rates are increasing like when i climbed everest in 2014 for the first time dollar used to be 45 dollar is 80 today yeah, yeah. to abhi gin lo aap एवरेस्ट का भाव तो डॉलर में होता है पैंतीस हजार डॉलर तो अभी पैंतीस हजार इंटू फोर्टी कर लो और पैंतीस हजार इंटू एटी कर लो अभी आपको पता चल जाएगा कि डिफरेंस कितना है राइट सो टुडे इट इजीली टेक्स अबाउट आई वुड से लैक्स टू क्लाइम एवरेस्ट वॉट इज द कॉस्ट फॉर क्या कॉस्ट है ब्रेक दैट कॉस्ट डाउन फॉर अस सी मेजोरिटी ऑफ द कॉस्ट विल गो इन टू पेइंग द परमिट फीस टू नेपाल गवर्नमेंट नेपाल गवर्नमेंट हैज अ फिक्स रॉयल्टी फी फॉर एवरेस्ट व्हिच इज 11 एंड 1/2000 डॉलर्स ओके सो 9-10 लाख रुपए तो आपके वहीं घुस गए परमिट में परमिट में एक पीस ऑफ पेपर मिलने वाला है कि आप ये फाड़ चढ़ सकते हो तो व्हाट डू यू नीड टू डू टू गेट दैट परमिट यू जस्ट नीड टू गिव 9 लाख रुपीस टू नेपाल गवर्नमेंट दैट्स इट दैट्स इट देयर इज नथिंग वाओ वाओ दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू आस्क वेदर यू हैव क्लाइंबड अ सिंगल माउंटेन इन योर लाइफ You could just be literally sitting on your ass all life long, and then decide that I'm going to climb Everest today. And you pay nine lakhs and you get the permit. And you get the permit. Wow, that's all it requires to climb Everest. Okay. It's it's as like you know, in crazy and uh, as it sounds. 
So, okay. So you pay, you get the permit, you pay the money, you get the permit. You what get next? the permit. What next? Then you are going to be climbing Everest for almost 55 to 60 days. It takes yeah. about 60 days to reach uh, the 60 days peak. to get, climb to the top and get back down. Okay. So, Everest base camp tak pahunchho, upar ke camp. Base camp jane mein kita naim lagta hai? Base camp jane mein about kareeban 10 days lagte hai. Thik hai. Then you come down from there and come back down from there. So the whole overall process is 60 days, food, drink, tents, gear, equipment. Like for example, the route on the road, the whole route on the road, the route maintenance is about $1,000. So you can get extra money for it. You can get extra money for it. You can get extra money for it. Then you have a Sherpa guide that guides you in the whole climb and supports you in the whole climb. You can get extra money for it, you can get extra money for it, you can get extra money for it. आपका टेंट पिच करता है ये ग्रुप एक्सपेडिशन होता है कि यू कैन आल्सो डू सोलो इट इट इज अ ग्रुप एक्सपेडिशन प्राइमरीली 99 परसेंट ऑफ क्लाइंबर्स क्लाइंब इट विद इन अ ग्रुप एस्पेक्ट देर विल बी सोलो क्लाइंबर्स ऑफ कोर्स हु आर लाइक यू नो हैव यू डन सोलो आई हैव नेवर डन सोलो ओके because I find it to be a lot riskier mm. compared to where my skill set is currently okay. we'll talk about that as yeah, well yeah, of course uh, but basically एक शेरपा को लेने का खर्चा इस अबाउट सिक्स टू सेवेन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स। सो ये सो मेजॉरिटी ऑफ खर्चा तो मैंने आपको बता दिया ये। सिक्स टू सेवेन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स। डॉलर्स। ओके। इस डी शेरपा फी। ओके। ओके। बिकॉज़ ही इस ऑफ कोर्स पुटिंग हिस लाइफ एट रिस्क आउट देयर एंड डूइंग � so majority of kharcha is going to come within these things and there mm. are then of course small small expenses here and there you are going to purchase your gear gear ka batao Ka, let's so, come to the gear so gear mein you have everything from a specialized suit that you are going to wear on the top of averages or for example your specialized boots is there a specific shop ya sa koi specific dukaan hai jahan se ye sab milta hai ya fir kahin pe mil jata in nepal in kathmandu there are specific shops acha and then do you purchase it from there only ya yahan se leke jate ho yahan india mein nahi milega aapko india mein nahi milega so okay. lot of this stuff clear. is going to be available in the us or europe or mostly nepal lot of people just go and do their shopping in nepal because okay. it's a little reasonable also from a cost perspective but even within that spectrum you are still looking at three to five lakh rupees just to purchase your gear. क्या है gear में आज वो gear? जैसे ये specialized suit है हमारा. Jacket suit. One piece suit है. अच्छा. पूरा body को cover करता है जो हम summit जो हम camp number three से पहनते हैं. जो वो first layer suit होता है क्या? मतलब जो जो first piece of clothing on the body. नहीं. First piece of clothing on the body is a thermal. Is a thermal. Is a thermal. Both upper and नीचे. Both upper and नीचे. Okay. Perhaps you will double up the thermals. Okay. And perhaps then on top of a thermal, you could also add in a light fleece layer. Okay. But in my case, I do it. If I wear a double up thermal, I wear a straight suit. Okay. Because I find that that is good enough for my... For your body. For my warmth. Yeah. Every, someone else may be, you know, wearing... I have seen a lot of people wear multiple thick jackets inside. Okay. And then wear a suit on the top. Mm -hmm. But then each... You know, we do it from our own perspective. Correct. So this suit itself is 1200 dollars. It's a suit of 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 1200 dollars. Okay. Think about it. Now you have a sleeping bag. Two sleeping bags. That sleeping bag will come to 1200 dollars. Then you are getting into smaller pieces of gear. Your harnesses, your technical equipment, your backpacks. Your backpacks could run into as crazy as $400-$500 dollars. You have specialized other jackets that you are wearing. It's it's a relentless pit that you are you know yeah, yeah. kind of going to get into. You could peep. I have seen people spend 10 10 lakh rupees on their gear. When I say three to five lakhs, I'm talking about average, average people you know yeah. who are like boss. मेरे पास ज़्यादा है नहीं मैं इतने में कर लूँगा. Correct. Kind of a thing. You could literally be spending. There are today battery operated socks coming. यो battery operated socks ही 500 dollar के आएँगे. Battery operated gloves 400 500 dollar के वो. अभी लाख रुपए तो socks और gloves पे हो गए. <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty. There's no limit. Yeah, correct. There's no limit. You could. Or one thing I forgot was oxygen bottles. Right ah. between you and your Sherpa, you have to have at least twelve, thirteen oxygen bottles. Each oxygen bottle, if I have to cost, I think, about three hundred, four hundred dollars. Be hmm. so That's a significant. Yeah, 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 significant. You know, cost of oxygen ke bottles. Ka. Right. So there's fair bit of cost, fair bit of logistics involved, and it's a. It's an expedition where you could literally lose your life. Correct. This is not like मैंने you know shares में थोड़ा invest किया मैंने crypto में थोड़ा invest किया तू दिया गया यार ठीक है this is your life. Do you invest in crypto? Do I invest in crypto? No, I don't. No, I don't because I honestly don't understand the world enough. Okay. We'll come to the revenue. Let's talk about the revenue side of mountaineering. सबसे पहले तो ये बताओ कि mountaineering industry कितनी बड़ी है इंडिया में industry है भी कि नहीं first of all. दूसरी है भी तो कितनी छोटी या बड़ी है एंड 
यू मैं अबाउट द कॉस्ट साइड कि पच्चीस लाख लगेंगे तीस पच्चीस तीस लाख लगेंगे डिपेंडिंग ऑन द डॉलर रेट राइट खर्चा तो लग गया माउंटेन चढ़ गए कमाई क्या है कमाई क्या है एंड हाउ डू यू Do this for life, like when you when you say that right. you are a mountaineer, right? By profession, right? How do you make money, right? So few things. I am not a mountaineer by profession. Okay. I am Clarified. a nutrition and a fitness coach by profession. Clarified. So that is my revenue stream. Done. ठीक है. Okay. Uh, now coming to मैंने कितना पैसा कमाया या you know <laughs> concept. I still remember meeting one of my other relatives after my um, 2016 summit of Everest. Right. we had this nice big party and everyone from all over the world actually my relatives and everyone from all over india they had all flown over to india we had this one gathering they were all like celebrating my success and everything hmm. and i was meeting this person and he's like this is all great hmm. you know like perfect <laughs> yeah, yeah. but what has been your roi on this danda paisa kahan se kama rahe ho paisa kahan se so i will tell you i have not made a single penny out of climbing mountains not like a dime directly okay okay because that has not been the reason why i climb mountains okay so for me again i come from a place where i am not i want to climb mountains hmm. this is my journey of life this hmm. is my spiritual journey this is my connection journey this is my passion journey whatever you want to call it hmm. this is my journey i don't think about अब तो मैंने जर्नी पे चल चल पड़ा हूं अब मैं कैसे इसको मोनेटाइज करूं आई डोंट गिव अ आई विल आई विल बी वेरी वेरी क्लियर हियर ऑफ कोर्स ऑफ कोर्स प्लीज डू आई हैव नो इंटरेस्ट इन यू नो मेकिंग मनी आउट ऑफ माउंटेनियरिंग बिकॉज़ दैट्स नॉट द इंटेंट व्हाई यू आर डूइंग इट दिस इज नॉट द इंटेंट फेयर एनफ सो मेरा क्योंकि और मैंने ट्राई किया है बिकॉज़ समटाइम्स यू नो यू लिसन टू सम पीपल या अरे क्या कर रहा है कैसे इससे पैसा कैसा कमाएगा ये कैसे करेगा इसको मोनेटाइज करने की ट्राई कर यू कुड मेबी परहैप्स ओपन अ माउंटेनियरिंग कंपनी आई हैव ट्राइड डूइंग दैट अ कपल ऑफ टाइम्स इन पास्ट But what has happened is I've realized that then I have lost the joy of mountaineering itself. Ah. Uh, and I have realized. Do you that feel that? Agar har sorry to cut you there. Uh, do you feel that agar har chiz jo aap pasand karte ho, and you continue doing it, and agar aap uspe dhanda attach kar dete ho, then you lose the magic of the passion that you once started. Ab. I don't know if I have been clear with the question. मैं ये बोलना चाह रहा हूँ कि आपने start किया Correct. with the love of it. Correct. आपको मजा आने लग गया. Correct. अब आप धंधा सोच रहे हो. Right. और धंधा बना भी लोगे तो आपको लगे धंधा अगर बन भी गया. Right. But at the cost of you not liking why you started it. Right. Are you okay with that or are you not okay with that? Um. Are me... you losing? Are you okay with losing the craft at the expense of good business? No. No. I I. to me my passion is important to yeah. me my love for the passion is important to me that connection is important if money doesn't come from this that is secondary to me i will anyways make money through some other way and continue climbing maybe not continue climbing bigger mountains because look for me it's not important to climb everest all the time mm. or a big mountain all the time i am happy climbing a one day mountain here in the sayadri of mumbai correct it gives me the same amount of joy and connection that i find on top of everest hmm. everest sometimes it's good for social media and you know good for instagram and good for you know people to follow you and yeah. those kind of things <laughs> but honestly for me i am in love with mountains right. i mean not in love with everest people right. kind of you know always think that i am in love with everest i'm uh, not uh. i'm in love with mountains to mere liye ye ye kabhi situation hi nahi tha but when as i mentioned i tried and the issue that happened is that i lost joy hmm. and Though over a period of time I have found a little bit of balance, is where I want to do it at my terms. Hmm. That I don't want to do what commercially everyone is doing. Fair enough. So I will do it at my terms. I will do only things that I want. Hmm. I will only guide people I want. Hmm. You can randomly write to me and say, Kundal, we. Uh, I want coaching from you, I or I coaching. want to be, you know, or guided by you. Or I want to climb with you. you, or I want to hire yeah, your yeah. services to guide me. Huh. No, no. If I want to, I will do it. Okay. And so, many people, you know, this is a snobby attitude, let's say, or then arrogant attitude, let's huh. say. Please understand, this is nothing to do with arrogance, right? Or nothing to do with ego. Hmm. It is just to maintain my love with the mountains Absolutely. and maintain my sanity and Absolutely. maintain my balance. So, I have found my niche. 
ईयर में मैं दो या तीन ट्रिप रन करता हूँ एट ऑन माई टर्म्स आई एन्जॉय दो ट्रिप्स आई एन्जॉय द कंपनी विद दो पीपल आई एन्जॉय इंट्रोड्यूसिंग दैम टू द माउंटेन्स बिकॉज येस आई माई पर्सनल एस्पिरेशन आर अराउंड क्लाइंबिंग माउंटेन्स बट आई ऑल्सो फाइंड डीप जॉय इन इंट्रोड्यूसिंग पीपल टू द माउंटेन्स एंड देन सींग द सेम हैप्पीनेस ऑन देयर फेस सो दिस इज समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी एंड इन द लास्ट डेकेड और सो आई रन कम्युनिटी ट्रिप्स टू द लोकल माउंटेन्स इन मुंबई ऑल यूर लॉन्ग And Fantastic. I have, I have seen, you know, like a rickshaw wala. Mujhe pooch raha tha. This, ah. this is a very common question because kya hota hai na? Main rickshaw wala. We have these common rickshaw walas, ah. and then we get to the Bhipuri Road Station or Wangni Station or whichever station you know near the Sayadri, ah. and then we'll take the rickshaw to the base village. Okay. And then I'm bringing teams of fifty, sixty people, and then one of the days rickshaw wala is asking me. कितना कमा रहे हो यार पचास लोग को लेके आ रहे हो और एक लोग के इधर पचास पाँच सौ रुपया हजार भी कमाया ये होता है ना तो ये 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 इट्स इट्स अ वेरी यू नो ऑब्वियस थिंग कि अगर मैं मतलब इफ इफ यू आर डूइंग समथिंग लाइक अ कम्युनिटी थिंग और अ ग्रुप थिंग सी आर डूइंग लाइक अ वर्कशॉप और आपने पाँच हजार चार्ज किया किसी से और सौ बच्चे आ गए तो पा पाँच लाख कमा रहे हो यार पाँच लाख कमा रहे यार But you'll be, but but what would happen in the conversation is that he would say पचास हजार कमा रहे हो आई एम लाइक यू नो I would send him a, I would share him a WhatsApp message. Here is the WhatsApp WhatsApp message on the group, and then I'm show him the last line. Mm. Cost equal to zero rupees. Mm. So you'd be like free me kar rahe ho ye sab. <laughs> I'm like ten years se free me kar raha hu, uh, and this is what I enjoy. Fantastic. I like giving back to the community, and the good thing that has happened over a period of time is that I have attracted like-minded people who are who have come in with like-minded mindset mm. and who have grown in their respective fields and who have grown in mountaineering who have grown in these things and it is joy to see all of those things happen so free me karta hu mm. but ye mujhe joy milta hai mujhe mere terms pe karne milta hai i am not running after मैं वीकेंड का ट्रिप कैसे फिल करूँ hmm. कैसे फिल करूँ hmm. कैसे फिल करूँ पूरा हफ्ता मैं सर्च इंजिन मार्केटिंग करता हूँ सोशल मीडिया मार्केटिंग करता हूँ ये करता हूँ ये करता हूँ इसको बोलता हूँ उसको बोलता हूँ आई ऑनेस्टली बिलीव इट बिकम्स लाइक एन एम वे लाइक लिटरल बिकम्स लाइक अ पिरामिड स्कीम वेरी और जस्ट यू नो ट्राइंग टू फाइंड पीपल के को कोई ज्वाइन कर सके आपको आई एम लाइक मुझे इसमें नहीं पढ़ना है यर्स अ कम्युनिटी ट्रिप दैट आई एम अनाउंसिंग आपको आना है तो ये टाइम पे ट्रेन छूटने वाला है आप पहुंच गए तो आप मेरे साथ क्लाइम करोगे आप नहीं पहुंचे तो आप ये ट्रिप मिस करोगे करेक्ट एज सिंपल एज एट रन ऑन माई माई टर्म्स एट प्लेसेस आई वांट टू गो एंड विद पीपल आई वांट टू गो एंड ऑनेस्टली दिस हैज बीन माय नीच इन द लास्ट फ्यू इयर्स एंड आई एंजॉयड I fantastic thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed fantastic it. fantastic and i love how you give back to the community where you've just from from where you've gotten so much i think you've given back to the community fantastic i think let's let's come to let's address the elephant in the room <laughs> let's talk about uh, everest how it happened more so with uh, more so with everest i think i want to know um about the death zone how many deaths have you seen uh, during your peak to the everest everest um what's the death zone exactly kahan pe which which part of it is the death zone um and how do you i remember in your talk also you shared uh, that you were just once walking um and you saw a dead face in front of you and you were like literally scared as to what you were walking and you saw a body sitting and then you, when you touched it was a skull correct as as far as i remember correct talk us about uh the everest journey and talk us more so about the dead zone that specific incident that you described happened on everest sister mountain called lodse okay that i was that's the fourth tallest mountain that's the fourth tallest mountain in the world so pehle to death zone kya hai hmm. uh, up around at 26000 feet altitude just above that right it's not like a it's not like a fixed line right logo ko lagta hai ki ek fixed line hai main 25999 feet pe hu hmm और मैं एक फीट चढ़ गया अभी मैं डेथ जोन के अंदर घुस गया hmm. ऐसा नहीं है oh, अचानक से अभी यू नो एयर चेंज हो गया राइट right? hmm. ऐसा नहीं होता है राइट इट्स जस्ट जनरली दैट एल्टीट्यूड अबाउ ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड फीट करेक्ट द अमाउंट ऑफ एयर प्रेशर कॉन्सिक्वेंटली द अमाउंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन सैचुरेशन अवेलेबल टू अस रिड्यूस एंड एज यू गो हायर एंड हायर इन साइड द डेथ जोन इट बिकम्स अ लॉट टफर टू क्लाइम इन साइड द डेथ जोन एंड all the time you are spending inside the dead zone at that lower air pressure and lower oxygen could perhaps cause your death okay so which is why it's also called the death zone because majority of the deaths on everest have happened in there 
Okay. So I would say it's like an imaginary area about twenty six thousand feet. And Everest is at what feet? Everest is at twenty nine thousand feet. Twenty nine thousand. So. And twenty six thousand feet is the last camp on Everest. Okay. So उसके बाद से उसके बाद से death zone शुरू हो जाता है. अच्छा ठीक है. क्योंकि काफी deaths वहाँ हुई है. अच्छा. And scientists. Through a lot of research and uh, studies over, you know, climbers have also figured out that beyond these altitudes, our survival, even with while I'm sucking on oxygen, hmm. becomes harder and harder and harder. Okay. So I'm way closer to my death than I'm closer to my life inside this zone. Hmm. So my decisions, my time spent inside this zone has to be very quick. And दिमाग नहीं चलता है. दिमाग नहीं चलता है. Like so how do you make decisions at that uh, at that height or, that, or at that altitude? I think there are multiple things here. Number one is your training. Okay. And number two is your teamwork. What's right. the talk us about the training? Like so, training for example, let's say, पहले तो मैं मुंबई में dead zone simulate कर नहीं सकता हूँ. Correct. Right, but मैं try कर सकता हूँ similar activities करने की. For example, मेरे मेरे case में कैसा होता है कि breath I control का भी कोई activity होता है. Breath control करके भी क्या करोगे? Altitude तो नहीं simulate ah, कर सकते हो ना? Fair enough, fair enough. क्या करूँगा? Right? Like enough. for example, लोग वो mask लगा के training करते हैं. मैं भी करता था पहले training. Hmm. It's still not simulating altitude. Correct. It's just not giving me enough air. Hmm. But that's not training my lungs how to cope up with altitude. Correct. Anyway, let's keep that aside. Yeah, yeah. For example, one of the training methodologies I've used quite significantly in past is that you stress your body so much. Mm. that the stress mimics what's going to happen to you in de- death how zone. do you stress your body like go on a very 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 tough hike mm. very long hike something for that for example could, in india if if it were let's say in mumbai okay in mumbai in the sayadris there are very long drawn hikes that okay. you know let's say you are c- crossing a range mm. and that crossing a range could perhaps take you 2 3 4 days mm-hmm. okay now let's say i'm trying to take that range crossing that people will maybe walk 10 hours a day then sleep 10 hours a day i'll say let's just do it all together mm. no sleeping okay. so we're just going to continuously walk now make it much harder no drinking water no eating any food okay right so entirely fasted karo abhi isko hmm aur lag chalte raho chalte mm. raho chalte raho you will be in places where you will like start hallucinating and and start questioning why you are doing this stuff correct your body physically is actually breaking down during this kind of stuff hmm. it is not the stuff that you would do every day hmm. or every weekend hmm. it is perhaps stuff that you would do once in every 3 months or 6 months just to test what's your capacity hmm. right everest pe kya hone wala hai 28000 feet pe ankle wankle toot gaya hmm. ya kahin rasta ghoom gaye ya kahin separate ho gaye apne guide se ya kahin ghus gaye side mein you know idhar udhar everest pe to chalo ghumna itna bahut difficult hai but there are other mountains right like manaslu which is the eighth tallest mountain in the world There's a massive plateau. I know of people getting lost there. And okay. then they're lost for days and days. अभी सोचो दो दिन के लिए तुम lost हो छब्बीस सत्ताईस हजार feet पे जहाँ पे there's no network. हाँ खाना पीना नहीं है ठंडी minus पचास degree temperature में हो क्या करें? Twenty nine thousand में क्या temperature होता है? Could be ranging anywhere from minus thirty to on a bad day it could be even minus fifty minus fifty five. Okay. Right, so it, it is a range. Mm. If the winds are blowing hard, yeah. you could be in like terrible state on the mountain. You you may not even make it to the top. So in your first attempt, were you able to peak, or which attempt were you able to peak for the first time? So first two attempts, there were accidents on the mountain. Okay, what happened? So first attempt, there was a massive accident where seventeen Sherpa guides died on the mountain. Okay. In in the in the region called Khumbu Ice Fall. Okay. Think of massive blocks of ice. Mm-hmm. Think of popcorn, right? You have seen how popcorn. Yes, goes. yes, yes. Abhi socho, wo popcorn ek pure do malay ke building ka size ka hai. Oh, can you uh, can you imagine that? Yes. Now think of you know a slide which is at an angle of 35 degrees. हाँ हाँ. और वो पूरे slide में popcorn पड़ा हुआ है ऊपर से नीचे तक. Oh. और वो दो ढाई किलोमीटर का पूरा slide है लंबा. पूरा popcorn पड़ा हुआ है सब जगह. Popcorn and वो popcorn पे छोटे 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 और popcorns हैं. Hmm. और कभी भी गिर सकते हैं. Oh. और ये पूरा जो slide है ना हर दिन में दो से ढाई feet नीचे move हो जाता है. So as you are walking through this, this is moving, 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 hmm. moving, moving, moving. So you are walking through this region, hmm. and there can be things that are that can fall on you and kill you in in like in, in the seconds. next instant. Like in in seconds, it can in kill seconds. you. Yeah. So on that day in 2014, the popcorns didn't fell, but much about the popcorns on the face of the mountain, there was a massive glacier. Okay. That broke apart. 
Oh damn. That created pieces that were the size of that popcorn. Okay. That rolled down 1000 feet. Okay. Now imagine kisi ne ek truck le liya. Ha. Aur Burj Khalifa ke top se truck ko pheka niche. Pheka. Aur aap uske niche aa gaye. Damn. 17 sherpa aise mare. Okay. Body, and this was during your first first attempt okay. body is crushed to pieces death that you would not want on the cruelest people on this planet i'm sure that that difficult a death it shook everyone everyone my sherpa guide 11 times everest summiter hmm. at the age of 27 rock star sherpa guide hmm came into a dining tent and broke down like a baby because sherpa is a very small community right they are all each other's brothers mamas yeah. chachas cousin brother second cousin to walk over dead bodies because there were 80 to 100 of them in that area i have chills 17 I, I died to react ek dusre ke pair ke upar wo log chal ke ja rahe the ek dusre ke body ke upar chal ke ja rahe the body nikal rahe the crush bodies imagine kisi ka face yeah. pura crush usko nikalna और सोचो वो अपने वो आपका मामा है सगा भाई है इट क्रश्ड द होल एवरी क्लाइंबर एवरी शेरपा एवरी वन वॉज शुक सम पीपल स्टिल वॉन्टेड टू कंटिन्यू क्लाइंबिंग ओके बट ऑनेस्टली द रिस्क वॉज टू हाई बिकॉज फाइंडिंग अ रूट थ्रू दैट मेज इमेजिन टू एंड हाफ किलोमीटर्स बाई वन किलोमीटर वाइड का फील्ड है जिसको बारह घंटे लगते हैं क्रॉस करने में इट इज वर्स देन अ मेज Hmm. Every time you step into that place, you are playing the game of Russian roulette. There is this, you know, oh, joke damn. in the, you know, in the mountaineering world. Yeah. Because any moment something would come down on you, and you're dead, right? So, damn. Trying to change the route was not a possibility. Hmm. So expedition got cancelled in 2014. वापस 2015 में गए. 2015 में, as you know, the biggest earthquake to hit Nepal in the last century happened. that's that earthquake caused such a ma- so i will tell you when that earthquake happened that we the earthquake happened for almost 65 to 70 seconds we were all at the base camp ab to hum okay. pahad chad bhi nahi rahe sab base camp pe everest base camp everest base camp pe ha you know what i how i feel like when i'm at everest base camp i'm invincible that's how i feel okay nothing can touch me okay i'm so far from everything right but this earthquake was so gigantic that everest ke opposite ek pahad hai jiska naam pumori hai mm-hmm. aur us pumori pe ek bada hanging glacier hai i will you know say something in, in out of sequence here theek hai ek los angeles ka data scientist hai jo Aha. happens to be also a mountaineer okay we have historical images of pumori around okay mm-hmm. we take pumori is like such a beautiful mountain everyone takes its picture every year there are millions of pictures of pumori on internet okay so you have this picture where you oh, i'm seeing pumori from the base camp and wo picture last year ka hmm. usne earthquake ke baad jab ye avalanche ho gaya uske se comparison kiya acha he looked at that area where the hanging glacier entirely broke off mm-hmm. and then he went and did some math mm-hmm. the amount of cubic tons of ice that fell down mm-hmm. was almost equivalent to the ice that can be held in a football stadium in a football stadium in a football stadium and it fell down more than 800 meters that is approximately 2500 feet oh damn a football stadium fell down from 2500 feet damn when it crashed on the ground yeah it gave rise to a massive shock wave Almost as if a bomb blast of some one megaton or कुछ तो उसने kiloton one hmm. kiloton or something उस वैसा bomb blast हुआ and so this was not a, the earthquake induced the avalanche but it didn't induce an avalanche that would be a typical avalanche right avalanche में क्या होता है बहुत सारा snow आप पे आपके आके गिर गया और आप दो तीन चार feet snow के अंदर दब गए if someone was able to come and dig you out of the snow in time mm-hmm. then you are saved theek hai thoda bahut lagega thoda scratches aayega maybe you know hit injury hoga ya jo bhi but bach jaoge hmm koi nahi aaya to wo do teen feet 
आइस या स्नो जो आपके ऊपर गिरा है वो कॉन्क्रीट बन जाएगा और आप जिंदा दफन हो जाओगे ओके अनटिल दिस ऑल गेट्स मेल्टेड आउट एंड फिर आपकी लाश बाहर निकलेगी ठीक है टिपिकल वे में लोग एवलांच में मरते हैं बट इस एवलांच में हमें स्नो और आइस नहीं आया हमें पूरा शॉक वेव आया ये एक वन किलो टन का शॉक वेव आया जो ब्रॉट अलॉन्ग विथ इट सेल्फ टन्स ऑफ डेबरी एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम बोल्डर्स टू टेंट पोल्स टू प्रेशर कुकर्स टू पीपल्स बॉटल्स टू पीपल्स पीपल फ्लाइंग इमेजिन दिस जस्ट रिप थ्रू द बेस कैंप एक ब्लास्ट होता है जब बॉम्ब ब्लास्ट पूरा रिप कर देता है वो एरिया को सो द होल एरिया हैड दिस रिप इफेक्ट एंड द बेस कैंप इज ह्यूज इट्स लाइक अ 1.5 किलोमीटर लॉन्ग बेस कैंप ठीक है हम बेस कैंप में मिडिल पोर्शन में थे और द मिडिल पोर्शन वॉज द वे ऑफ द रिप इफेक्ट बाकी जो दो साइड के बेस कैंप थे वो लोग बच गए रिप इफेक्ट से उनको भी आया थोड़ा बहुत ब्लास्ट पर हमें जो ब्लास्ट आया एवरी वन वॉज एयर बॉर्न एटलीस्ट अहेड और इन अ सर्टन एरिया पीपल वॉर लिटरली एयर बॉर्न देर वॉज डेबरी कमिंग थ्रू हिटिंग पीपल एंड किलिंग पीपल ट्वेंटी वन पीपल डाइड हंड्रेड पीपल वर इंजर्ड ग्रूसमली इंजर्ड ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ वॉर जोन काइंड ऑफ इंजर्ड किसी के हाथ टूट गए पैर टूट गए मुंह टूट गया सब कुछ लाइक जैसे बैंड बच गए हो लाइफ की एंड जिस कैंप साइट में हम लोग थे उस कैंप साइट से पचास फीट दूर की कैंप साइट है वेर वी हर्ड अ स्टोरी वेर सम फीमेल वॉज स्लीपिंग इन अ टेंट एंड द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द ब्लास्ट देर वॉज सो हाई दैट हर टेंट वॉज एयरबोर्न एंड वेंट इन साइड द आइस टावर्स एंड क्रैश देयर and she was instantly crushed to her death near 50 feet ka difference and again a small hump of like 20 feet ka hump hmm. between the two campsites perhaps meant that the blast coming to us was lesser hmm. now i will again go back into the concept of universe conspires right and why i don't believe in it right so universe conspired to save me ha huh. but universe conspired to kill her ओके ओके सॉरी आई आई डोंट आई डोंट थिंक यूनिवर्स वर्क्स इन दिस वे आई ऑनेस्टली डोंट बिलीव यूनिवर्स गिव्स अ अबाउट वेदर यू वांट टू फाइंड योर कार कीज वेदर यू वांट टू क्लाइंब द टॉलेस्ट माउंटेन ऑफ योर वर्ल्ड और वेदर यू वांट टू गो होम एंड बी विथ योर पेरेंट्स बिकॉज इफ दिस इज हाउ यूनिवर्स इज कंस्पायरिंग यू यूनिवर्स ओके किलिंग ट्वेंटी वन पीपल इंजरिंग हंड्रेड वाई राइट सो सो इस रीजन से मैं यूनिवर्स कंस्पायर्स के कॉन्सेप्ट में बिलीव नहीं करता हूँ वेल आई यू नो से दैट समटाइम्स यू नो लाइक यू विल थिंक एंड थिंक अरे यार शिट कैसे हो गया मैं बच गया पचास फीट दूर इफ आई वाज जस्ट इंस्टेड ऑफ स्लीपिंग इन दिस टेंट स्लीपिंग इन दैट टेंट यू वुड नॉट आई वु कॉन्वर्जेशन विद राइट इट्स लाइक दैट क्रेजी यू नो टू थिंक ऑफ इट सो इट इट वॉज लाइक आई रिमेंबर वेन आई सॉ दैट एव लॉन्च There was you know whole bunch of after like you know when the avalanche first came or that shock wave first came, hmm. like left of the sky to the right of the sky, everything is filled with just snow and ice. Hmm. Like, ऐसा नहीं है कि ये 12 feet का wave आ रहा है, 15 feet का tsunami आ रहा है, 20 feet का tsunami आ रहा है. This is an infinite tsunami coming. Hmm. There's no left to run, no right to run. There's no way to run. Correct. Run, run. So. Even when I first saw it, it's not as if I thought that I was going to die. Hmm. I was very certain that I was going to die. Okay. So to think, of, like when I saw that, I was like, again, up to, up to gay, up to gay. Yeah. Like prayers, bol liya, last, you know, whatever. I'm done. This hmm. is it. Life is, you know, life as I know has ended now. Hmm. So I'm not going to be out, able to outrun this. Hmm. And then to be alive after that whole incident. and without a scratch like i didn't have a scratch on and my body and then to climb mount everest twice <laughs> that people definitely thought i was crazy yeah because when this incident happened of course people would think cuz <laughs> at this point second incident me at this point 50 feet uh, from you you see you're seeing deaths right. and people flying and debris falling over you and seeing crushed bodies and deaths happening right 50 feet right next to you and then you decide to climb mount everest इट्स आई मीन क्या था दिमाग में क्यों करना था वाई दिस लुक दिस इज द बिगेस्ट ड्रीम ऑफ माई लाइफ यस एंड आई वॉज वेरी क्लियर दैट 
chadna hai hmm. there is there is no two ways about it i ne- i never you know yes after that earthquake i was very clear i have to go home hmm because sometimes we can be very selfish people right. i'll tell you you know mountaineers are at very selfish people we put right. ourselves at risk without thinking about our families without right. thinking about everything else we put ourselves in the harms we quite, quite significantly now how does your family react to it how now <laughs> when you uh, how when you shared this incident with your family and your wife uh, and then when you told them ki nahi ab to main ja raha hu mount everest chadne pehle kya hua pehle maine phone kiya aur maine bola इंडियन मीडिया पे कुछ भी आएगा ना बिलीव मत करना हाँ. वो लोग ऐसे ही लिखेंगे कि पूरा बेस कैंप में सब मर गए सब मर गए करेक्ट ऐसा कुछ तो यू नो लोग यू नो पकाएंगे कुछ भी नहीं हुआ है यहाँ करेक्ट एवरीथिंग इज गुड मैं जिंदा हूँ ठीक है बिकॉज एट दैट पॉइंट आई डिट नो दैट द फुटेज ऑफ एवलांस एग्जिस्टेड अच्छा ओके द गाय नेक्स्ट टू मी अ जर्मन माउंटेनियर नेम यॉस्ट कबूश हैड पुट इज हैंड अप एंड कैप्चर द होल एवलांस ऑन इज ऑन इज फोन ओके ओके एंड आई टोल्ड हिम के बॉस इंटरनेट पे मत डालना हाँ हाँ एंड एज ही डिसेंडेड वी ऑल वर डिसेंडिंग एट आर ओन पेस एंड वी वर यू नो लाइक गोइंग होम प्रिपेयरिंग टू गो होम ही फाउंड एन इंटरनेट एट वन ऑफ द विलेजेस ही अपलोडेड द वीडियो अच्छा समवन फ्रॉम हिज टीम गॉट इन कनेक्शन विद दिस वीडियोज को वायरल करता है ऐसी कोई एजेंसी भी होती है मुझे तब तक तो मुझे ये सब कुछ पता भी नहीं है तो बात करते हैं एजेंसी एजेंसी से ये वीडियो वायरल करते हैं सो सो और और मेबी दे He actually wrote like a two-page letter to me, dear Kuntal. Hmm. I know that we had sat and discussed that I'm not going to, you know, put it up on the internet. Put it internet up on the internet, whatever, and huh. I know that you are in the video right. predominantly, and that your privacy is of, you know, your concern, and that you don't want your family to find out. But I think it is important that world sees what happened here. Like, you know, he hmm. gave me a long drawn reason. Why? 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 So video went internet पे और घर वालों ने देख लिया वीडियो hmm. because this went viral across the yeah, world yeah, yeah. every new 200 countries की news channel ने ये वीडियो को अगले दस दिन तक run किया literally correct what was your family's reaction my, <laughs> the thing is my there's a heated debate going on my social on my Facebook profile whether this is Kuntal or not oh. and everyone's like this is Kuntal this is Kuntal and like it's the my family knew this particular t-shirt it was of one of my sponsors okay a, a volvo Achha. dealership in hyderabad Haan. so unka maine srk volvo karke maine t-shirt pehna and the t-shirt is very visible in Haan. the in the in the in the video to so, denu ye to kuntal hai ha and mera awaaz bhi bahut you know yeah. ye hai i'm sure your family would know your voice and your face Me, and whatever face and yeah. everything meri yeah. daadi wali ekdam you Haan. know it's all like yeah very prominent you not very prominent and so i had told ke kuch nahi hua hai <laughs> and then they suddenly find out through this video that you know this shit has fallen apart yeah. on this camp yeah, and yeah. this is what is and so it was a bit of a nightmare to kind of manage them mm. but then i think slowly as time passed by mm. they were kind of a little settled and my wife was like you know kaisa ho raha tha malum hai what did she tell you ekdam exactly in gujarati ye batao give me exact you words. will not believe my wife was the one who was very supportive Fantastic. क्या बोला उन्होंने? I do remember. She's word like by you word. can always go back and. Gujarati में बताओ. के पांच हो जाने तू next year climb करी सके. अच्छा. And and I will tell you the her. I don't think she said this openly to me, but हाँ. I think her reasoning was that यार छः साल से मेरी life तो zero हो गई है. हम्म. मैंने software engineer के साथ शादी किया. <laughs> अब इस software engineer को Everest में मेरे से प्यार पढ़ने की जगह में ये Everest से प्यार में हो गया. और अभी जाके पागल की तरह पहाड़ चढ़ रहा है uh-huh. इसको कुछ पड़ी नहीं है मेरी uh-huh. अभी ये जाने तो वाला ही है uh-huh. मैं इसको कितना भी रोक कितना रोक लो ये करने तो वाला अगर एक साल या दो साल के बाद जाएगा तो मेरे और दो साल निकल जाएंगे इसके ड्रीम के पीछे uh-huh. और हमारी लाइफ तो ऐसे भी रुक गई है राइट सो शी लाइक जाके आ भाई तू जाके आप फिनिश कर फिनिश कर खत्म कर भाई आगे बढ़ते हैं लेट्स मूव ऑन आगे बढ़ सके करेक्ट आई मीन आई आई मीन नो सेइंग दिस इन यू नो ऑल जस्ट एंड एवरीथिंग या ऑफ कोर्स बट शी वाज वेरी सपोर्टिव शी वाज द बॉस Everyone else was like पागल हो गया मत जा मत जा मत जा बट शी वॉज द वन हू सेड यार यू आर क्लोजर टू योर ड्रीम यू हैव वर्क वेरी हार्ड दैट लेट्स जस्ट गो बैक एंड फिनिश दिस लेट्स जस्ट लेट्स जस्ट गेट इट आउट ऑफ योर 
वे काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग एंड आई वॉज तो वेरी क्लियर मैं जाने वाला हूँ ये नन ऑफ दिस टफ इज गोइंग टू बी एबल टू स्टॉप मी बट बट द फनी थिंग वॉज वेन आई वॉक टू द बेस कैम्प इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन देर वर आई फील फाइव और सिक्स पीपल हु तीन सौ लोग क्लाइम करते हैं एवरेस्ट हर साल सो दो हजार चौदह में तीन सौ आए दो हजार पंद्रह में भी तीन सौ आए ठीक है आई थिंक ये तीन सौ और तीन सौ छः सौ में से थोड़ा बहुत कॉमनलिटी होगा बट दो हजार सोलह में आई थिंक देर आर ओनली फाइव और सिक्स ऑफ अस दैट रिपीटेड ओके एवरी वन एल्स गेव अप ओके दे आर लाइक अब हम नहीं जाएंगे या तो फिर हम अगले तीन चार साल आगे में कभी तो जाएंगे बट थ्री बैक टू बैक यूर्स आई थिंक वी आर फाइव और सिक्स सैम्पल पीसेज केम बैक ओके एंड लिटरली वेन आई वेंट टू द लॉजेज एंड दे वुड से तो वापस आ गया You literally come to me and say, "What happened? What 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 I, as we were discussing in the beginning, you know, right. before we began the pod, I have answered this question like thousands of times. Yeah. But yeah. honestly, when I saw the summit of, or, or I will say, I will start from Hillary step. When I got on top of Hillary step, and I checked myself. Hillary step? What? Hillary step. How is it? Na Everest ka jo last portion hai, wo baara ghante lagte hai. बारह घंटे लगते बारह घंटे लगते हैं कैंप फोर से लेके समिट तक. ठीक है. Approximately. Traffic को गिन, you know, गिन के, you know, वो सब. ह्यूमन ट्रैफिक की बात कर रहा हूँ यू नो सब दिन के अप्रोक्सीमेटली बारह घंटे लगते हैं एंड हिलरी स्टेप इज द लास्ट पोर्शन विच इज द टफेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द क्लाइम ओके एंड जस्ट कम्स बिफोर द समिट ओके सिग्निफिकेंट अमाउंट ऑफ पीपल गिव अप एट हिलरी स्टेप बिकॉज इट इज इंसेनली हार्ड एंड दे लुक एट द देर इज यू नो लाइक अ ट्वेंटी थर्टी फीट रॉक वॉल एंड इवन अब दैट देर इज वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट क्लाइम दे लुक एट दैट एंड दे घर जाते इनफ आई कॉन्ट लाइक यू नो गो बी ऑन दिस करेक्ट When I got on top of Hillary Step, I was like, "Boss, I feel super strong." Okay. There is simply no way in the world that I'm going back. I'm going back from here. Yeah. I have no like. I feel as if I can climb Everest again. Okay. That's how super strong I'm feeling. Okay. Now, it could just have been adrenaline, you know, talking. Yeah. And because sometimes you get adrenaline boosts yeah. at you know the right moments. Yeah. So I got one. And then you have to cross three small snow humps. मैंने तो एवरेस्ट का रूट रट्टा मार लिया था ठीक है आई एम समन हु लाइक्स लर्निंग एज मच एज पॉसिबल अबाउट वॉट आई एम डूइंग ओके विच मीन्स दैट इफ यू कैन पॉइंट आउट एवरेस्ट फ्रॉम एनी एंगल आई विल बी एबल टू टेल यू एवरेस्ट पे ये है ये है ये है ये है ये है यहाँ ये है यहाँ ये है यहाँ ऐसे होने वाला है यहाँ से ये टर्न मारने वाला आई कैन विजुअलाइज एवरीथिंग and i do that all the time you can visualize it right now as well i can visualize it right now okay. because to me this is very important hmm. to me this is how i operate in most of the things got it i i like knowing this stuff especially with the bigger projects of mine hmm. so i knew ke teen hums hai and i can't drop my guard right now because if i drop my guard kuch bhi ho sakta hai so hmm. i'm like let's finish cross first hum cross second hum second hum ke baad mein thoda tiredness feel feel hona shuru hua So I knew that there's a big rock coming, and I can go on the side of the big rock, and I can rest, like take a breather for a couple of minutes. I went behind, took a breather for a couple of minutes, crossed the third snow hump, and I could then see my Sherpa standing on the summit of Everest. The moment I saw him, it's you know, ऐसा relief जो ज़िंदगी में कभी ना मिला, like your heart is like God. पहुँच गए, पहुँच गए, done, finished, like the biggest dream of my life. हो गया हो गया लाइक यू नो एंड देन द नेक्स्ट इंस्टेंट रिएक्शन इज बिफोर आई कुड डू एनीथिंग टीयर्स आर जस्ट बैम 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 एंड लाइक रो क्यों रहा हूं वो क्या रहा है ये यू जस्ट क्राइंग आउट लाइक इट बिकेम टू अ पॉइंट वेयर आई कुडंट कंट्रोल द इमोशंस इमेजिन 6 इयर्स एंड यू आर सो फोकस्ड दैट यू हैव नो लाइफ For three years, I was emotionally entirely detached from my family. Right. I had no relationship with my wife, physical or otherwise. Hmm. No relationship with any family members. No mental connection to anyone. No relationship other than a single-minded relationship with the mountain, which perhaps didn't want to have a relationship with me. How how difficult is that? It is insanely difficult. 
it, you you are existing in the same house but you can't you can't think of anything else other than having it's obsession it's mm-hmm. beyond obsession it's this is where i tell a lot of people yeah this this line between obsession and insanity please keep an eye out on that line because when when you will go on that other end mm. it's it's incredibly tough so mm. you have to constantly maintain that balance but but they understood my family understood because they also realized that i want to stay alive i right. want to do this really well right. and please understand i don't come from a predisposed mountaineering background correct correct because bahar mein koi pahad nahi chadta hu ha main gujarati wo gujarati jo ek floor chadne ke liye lift leta tha correct ticket for me to summit everest to go from leaving my entire career leaving my family leaving all of this going on a journey and getting to the top of everest am i going to stand here and say everest is the t- toughest mountain in the world heck no it is not the toughest mountain in the world but for me it was the toughest mountain in the world for me it was the toughest endeavor in the world to log kabhi kabhi you know mujhe kya everest to chada kaun sa ukhad liya they say that they say that logo se itna zyada aise bhi wo karta nahi but i'm saying that in my context hmm. this was a freaking hard exact and i think it's it's very important to understand context right? bhai bhai tumhare liye jo bahut easy hai ho sakta it could be the mo- the toughest thing that thing. i could ever imagine like live doing yeah to even imagine doing something like this i mean for you you you've peaked mount everest twice i don't know what everest feels like right the highest i've peaked is 16500 feet at uttarakhand in roopkund that's what i've done right and the last 500 feet was snow and i was scared because i was i was panting i was panting for breath and uh, when you are climbing upar बाकी लोग नीचे आ रहे हैं एंड यू आस्क पीपल कि कैसा है कितना दूर जाना कितना टाइम लगेगा कितना दूर जाना है हाउ इज द रूट कैसा है एंड दिस वन गाय आई वॉज आई क्रॉस एंड दिस वन गाय टेलिंग मी कि यार आफ्टर दिस पॉइंट तुम्हारा पैर कहीं और चलेगा तुम्हारा मन कहीं और चलेगा मतलब योर माइंड इज गोइंग समेर एल्स योर फुट ऑटोमेटिकली इज गोइंग समेर एल्स एंड यू विल हैव नो कंट्रोल एंड दिस एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इट ट्वेंटी सेवनटीन जून मे जून टाइम एंड दिस वॉज आर ग्रैड ट्रिप सपोजली एंड थ्री ऑफ आर फ्रेंड्स लाइक थर्ड की हाटी के करते हैं एंड आई एम क्लाइंबिंग एंड एम क्लाइंबिंग ग्रुप को एंड आई एम लाइक आई डोट नो वॉट टू डू एंड द लास्ट एंड यू कैन इजिली ट्रिक द ऑक्सी मीटर Right. right you can easily trick the oximeter you just like walk around for a while, while or, you calm know, down or just like do this <laughs> and you can easily trick it so one of my friends was uh had very less oxygen on the oximeter and we told him ki yaar mat kar right it's okay uh health is more important right and anyway we are on a vacation right it's not important for you to climb right. at the risk of your health right mat kar right he's like nahi nahi yaar main to karunga <laughs> i will so he started walking he started you know calming down <laughs> and then he he tested again on the oximeter so oximeter was normal <laughs> and i was like ha theek hai chalo above 80 is supposedly normal <laughs> he was like ha theek hai perfect let's go to yeah. so, kal ab he did it of course but then uh, it was scary so i have peaked 16500 considering its roop kon in uttarakhand but then to think about for me to even think about everest is 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 like something that might not be achievable but for you because you've done it it might not be as difficult as it is for me right right, right? so right. i think logo na context samajh mein nahi aata ki yaar yaar ye kya hai kar kar le are bhai aisa nahi hai yaar matlab a lot of people tell me also ki yaar content creation bahut easy hai kar le ya media production bahut easy tum kya kar raha hai main bola tu ek din karna karna main to 5 saal se kar raha hu bhai tu ek din karna i remember hearing your talk that yeah, day yeah. and i was like I resonate with so many things that yeah, you know yeah, said that yeah. especially around this you know content creation <laughs> I'm like main to bahut time se try mar raha hu mere se nahi ho raha awesome you know I was like telling I, I yeah, remember yeah. we had even spoken that yeah, yeah 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 we did doing content creation is harder than climbing everest <laughs> <laughs> probably I found my everest you found your everest probably but you know anyways going back to that yeah i think wo jo bada asya you know wo jo emotions the uh. that had constantly kept you know like in a prison right. for like so such a long time right because i wanted to be unemotional for so long so yeah. that i could you know succeed at getting to the top right. and g- get right. back down safely right i feel all of that kind of started coming ah. out and i just cried for the first time in 6 years i just let myself cry i'm like nikalne do bhi you know like ye jaane do bhi this is i i'm due this anyway got to the top 
हग्ड माय शेरपा टाइटली ही वॉज अ लिटल वरिड की ये क्यों इतना रो रहा है मैं ही इज लाइक मरवर तो नहीं जाने वाला ना आई लाइक चिल मिंगमा आई एम यू नो गुड शेप एंड आई आई थिंक द वन थिंग दैट आई टेल एवरीवन इज राइट आई थिंक आई सैट डाउन एंड आई थिंक द फर्स्ट थिंग वाज थैंक यू माउंटेन थैंक यू एवरेस्ट आई थिंक एक्सप्रेसिंग माय ग्रैटिट्यूड I am not going to animate the mountain or give it like a human nature or something that it's you know looking for a thanks from my side. But I think just a gratitude to everyone involved in this journey was mm. what I was trying to do for putting me on the top because it's never a solo journey. Right, right, right. So, right. so many people involved so and so many, many sacrifices that people have made. So I think it was just a thank you to right. everyone from the top of the world that I am here and I have achieved my life's biggest dream. Achieve kar liya hai. Right. and then i was like i just want 5 10 minutes to just look at the world from right. top of the world i have to tell you the view from the top of everest is 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 beyond words right is a view worth climbing to the top again awesome awesome kuntal you've shared a fair bit of your, of your experience pre mountaineering how after you got married you were not still not doing mountaineering and then your wife got very fed up ki aap bhai aap tere ko jo karna hai kar khatam kar and then get back uh what is that one thing or maybe couple of things that you've never shared on any podcast before let's come to that let's be let's let that be my podcast <laughs> share something because i want to bring out something that's not been shared before because it should not be repetitive for you right. as a guest and i want to bring out a new flavor from you as well so something that you've not discussed before So there's this there's this story that happened ah. in my load sea climb of 2018. Okay. Now for the last eight nine years I have been climbing with uh, the same Sherpa climber called Mingma Tenzi Sherpa. Okay. He is literally my family when mm. we are in the mountains. Okay. He is my brother from another mother. If I have to you know say it in in like you know very proper very words. Very simple terms. Yeah. Very simple you know terms. Ah. So both of us are super 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 thick mm. and. I trust Mingma's judgment, like anything. If it's like it's like Virat Kohli and Dhoni running between the stumps, if I may call it. Like if I can, I can give an analogy. I can give. I mean, Virat Kohli himself mentions that him and Dhoni or him and ABD Villiers are very like no, like. Bolna bhi nahi padega ki Dhoran bhag. But kaise hai na ki Virat Kohli or MS Dhoni almost same level pe. Yeah, I'm same level pe nahi hai. Mingma is like thousand x higher than me. Uh, ah, okay. fair enough. So. उसमें भी बहुत लोग बोलेंगे विराट कोहली और एम एस धोनी सेम लेवल पे नहीं है बट ठीक है मतलब हम लोड से क्लाइम पे और ऑफकोर्स मैं और मिंगमा साथ में क्लाइम कर रहे हैं और हमारे अब इस मैं किसी का नाम नहीं लेने वाला हूँ ठीक है ठीक है क्योंकि यहाँ नाम इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है पर पहाड़ों पर इंपॉर्टेंट है पहाड़ों पर होता क्या है ना वो इम्पोर्टेंट करेक्ट गो फॉर इट ठीक है abhi mingma is also a sirdar hmm. meaning mingma is the expedition leader Ming- means mingma decides ke mera team kon hai mere team mein kon kon se sherpa hai ye sherpas you know kya karne wale pahad pe wo log sab decide karte theek hai to ye mingma ka and as a leader you should be able to you know main company chala raha hu main mere log hire karunga mere log you know ke sath agar aap koi mere client ho to ye meri team hai aapko hmm. inke sath kaam kar raha right that correct. is how things correct. work correct correct so in that's also in the mountains right aap hmm. aap meri team join kar rahe ho to teen char climbers the hamare team pe hmm. jinko everest chadhna tha hmm. ab ye climbers ne bhi do do bar pehle try kar liya tha acha pahad chadhne ka theek hai theek hai aur inhone bhi mingma ka style dekha tha mingma ka pura climbing dekha tha mingma kaise chadhta hai sab kuch hmm. dekha tha hmm. and they had seen when everyone failed in a certain year hmm. to climb to the top of everest Mingma put the entire team on top and brought them back down safely. Okay. Okay. ठीक है और जो जिन लोग नीचे गए थे ना उनमें ये लोग भी थे अच्छा पर उन्होंने देखा था कि सामने वाली टीम साली ऊपर जाके वापस आ गई अच्छा और इसमें मिंगमा है अच्छा तो अगले साल उन्होंने बोला हम भी मिंगमा के साथ मिंगमा के साथ क्लाइम करेंगे अब मिंगमा क्लाइम मेरे साथ करता है हाँ ठीक है हाँ तो मिंगमा इज लाइक मैं किसी और के साथ नहीं क्लाइम करूंगा मुझे तेरे साथ ही क्लाइम करना है बिकॉज ये हमारा सेटिंग है करेक्ट और मैं सिरदार हूँ और मुझे मेरे टीम पे पूरा ट्रस्ट है के बॉस सबके सब बहुत ही अच्छे हैं आप इनके साथ भी क्लाइम करो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है अब इसके वजह से काफ अब पहाड़ों में कैसा होता है मालूम है एक माउंटेनियरिंग इज अ सिक्सटी डे थिंग क्लाइंबिंग एवरेस्ट लोड से सिक्सटी डे थिंग सो दे लॉट ऑफ डाउन टाइम इन द माउंटेन सो ड्यूरिंग डाउन टाइम लॉट ऑफ गॉसिपिंग हैपन्स अच्छा ड्यूरिंग डाउन टाइम लॉट ऑफ बैक बाइटिंग डाउन टाइम लॉट ऑफ दिस शिड है 
डिस्ट्रैक्शन ऑल्सो है आई काइंड ऑफ यू नो सिट बैक एंड थिंक दैट साले तुम दारू पीते हो घर पे hmm. साले तुम पार्टी करते हो घर पे hmm. तुम अयाशी करते हो घर पे hmm. फिर पहाड़ पे भी आके तुम्हें वही करना है hmm. यहाँ भी आके यू आर ट्राइंग टू स्कोर अ नाइट विथ यू नो वन ऑफ द फीमेल क्लाइंबर्स यू आर ट्राइंग टू यू नो गो गेट ड्रंक यू नो ट्राइंग टू फाइंड ड्रग्स यू नो ट्राइंग टू डू दिस आई एम लाइक साले तुम वहाँ भी वही कर रहे हो hmm. पहाड़ पे जिस जगह को तुम्हें रिस्पेक्ट करना चाहिए जो जगह इतनी सेक्रेड है यहाँ पे भी तुम्हें वही शिट करना है एनी वे डिस्कलेमर टू ईच देर ओन मैं किसी को जज नहीं कर रहा हूँ पर फ्रॉम माई ओपिनियन ऑलवेज फील यार वहाँ भी यही कर रहे हो यहाँ भी यही कर रहे हो क्या लॉजिक है यार मैं उधर ही रहो ना यहाँ आने की क्या जरूरत है ठीक है सो एनी वे दर अ होल बंच ऑफ द स्टाफ हैपन सो सो आई रिमेंबर वन ऑफ द टाइम्स अ कपल ऑफ मेम्बर्स ऑफ माई टीम हुर डेस्परेट टू क्लाइम विद मिंगमा न्यू दैट आई एम आई एम क्लाइंबिंग विद मिंगमा दे ऑर्गेनाइज अ मीटिंग विथ मी अच्छा सैट डाउन यू नो ऑपोजिट यू नो टेबल पे नेगोशिएशन टेबल पे बैठे हैं मेरे साथ यू नो टाइप्स हम बातें कर रहे हैं ये वो के कैन यू कन्विंस मिगमा टू क्लाइम विथ हॉस दिस दैट एंड यू नो वी आर गोइंग बैक एंड फोर दिस दैट एंड देन दे टोल्ड मी अ स्टेटमेंट कुंतल यर्स अ ब्लैंक चेक आई एम विलिंग टू साइन ऑन दिस You can give this blank check to Mingma. He can mm. fill in any number he wants. Okay. But I want Mingma to climb with me. And they said that. And they said that. And they told me to convince Mingma to climb with them. To come climb with them because Mingma will make so much money, and that you will be, you will be, it will be just to both of your relationship because you are allowing him to grow, you are allowing him to make money, you mm. are not letting him be stuck to you. because he finds allegiance to you yeah. and he is being loyal to you hmm. and fir maine ja ke mingma ko pura maine i am mera aur mingma ka kaisa relationship hai matlab muh pe jo bolna hai muh pe bolo hmm. ye piche ja ke baat nahi karne ka hmm. subtlety mein baat nahi karne ka hmm. ye hum ye logic mujhe samajh mein nahi aata hai are hmm. jo muh mein bol do na kya ye logic hai yaar hmm. so mera aur mingma ka bahut clear hai mingma bhi mujhe openly bol deta hai boss कि अगर मुझे इस कंपनी का ब्रांड एम्बेसडर बनना है तो प्लीज कंपनी को बोलो कि मुझे यू नो ऐसा ऐसा यू नो पे चाहिए तो क्योंकि मैं काम कर रहा हूँ मैं टाइम पास करने के पैसे नहीं मांग रहा हूँ किसी वेरी ओपन दैट यू नो दैट वे आई एम वेरी ओपन विद मिंगमा सो आई डेंट गो एंड टेल इम दैट ये मैं तुझे ब्लैंक चेक दे रहा हूँ या मैं तुझे आई जस्ट ओपनली शेयर द कॉन्वर्जेशन विद मिंगमा एंड मिंगमा इज लाइक दिस पीपल मतलब उनको लगता है कि मुझे खरीद सकते हो खरीद सकते हैं करेक्ट सो वो इतना भड़क गया ही वॉज सो फ्लस्टर्ड ही ही वॉज लाइक नॉट इवन गोंडू आई एम द आई एम द एक्सपीडिशन सिरदार नाउ आई विल नॉट इवन गो विद देम ऑन एवरेस्ट आई डोंट केयर अबाउट देम दैट दे डो नॉट ट्रस्ट माई एबिलिटी टू क्रिएट अ टीम दैट दे डो नॉट trust me at all hmm. that they are now also going behind my back and trying to go through you and try to purchase me agar 50000 dollar bhi likhe na wo check pe main nahi lene wala hu ja ke bol do unko so this is you know like when you know when this stuff happened and then one of the third guys who was associated with these two people he went and स्पोक टू अनदर शेरपा गाइड ओके हु ही वॉन्टेड टू क्लाइम विथ अच्छा एंड पीछे से लाइक बैक चैनल के थ्रू उसने उस शेरपा गाइड जो हमारे टीम में भी नहीं है उसको बोला कि मैं तुझे पैसे दूंगा तू मेरे साथ क्लाइम कर किसी ना किसी वे के थ्रू वो शेरपा गाइड मिंगमा के पास आके बोलते हैं मिंगमा तू मेरे लिए प्लीज ऊपर फ्री में ऑक्सीजन रख दे ना यही कंपनी का ऑक्सीजन लेके तू मेरे लिए ऊपर रख दे मैं तुझे पीछे से कैश में पैसा दे दूंगा मतलब बेसिकली मिंगमा को बोला तू चोरी कर ऑक्सीजन का और मेरे लिए रख दे और मैं तुझे पैसा दे दूंगा वो ऑक्सीजन का और कंपनी का लॉस होगा तेरे को तो पैसे मिल जाएंगे ओ माय गॉड पहले ये हुआ उसके बाद ये हुआ फॉर टू डेज इतना मिंगमा वॉस फ्यूरियस I'm sure. Matlab, this is like, this guy, hmm. whoever has met this guy, hmm. whoever in last ten years, whoever has met this guy, किसी को है ना मैं जिस आवाज में भी आपके साथ बात कर रहा हूँ ना ये आवाज तो उस उसके पास है भी नहीं. He's so polite, so down to earth, and always with a massive smile on his face. 
so much patience i have rarely seen in a human being but two days i had seen him so angry mm. because he also prides his honesty and his ethics and his moral so code and his work ethic on the mountain yeah. and that people were treating him like this yeah it was not unko logo se nahi tha but the way their mentality was they were trying to purchase him purchase it was and that is now of, of course or trying to bribe him or something mm. it was and then mingma just said you know f- these people bhul jao hmm and we went and we climbed lot se hmm. and i still remember we were at after summit we were in the camp on lot se hmm and they were in the below camp and we had a long drawn 20 minute ka radio discussion on which mingma shouted at them so much so much so much I can totally imagine. Mingma just said, "Jao tum log upar, main aane nahi wala." Then we finally went to the base camp, and I sat down with Mingma, and mm. I'm like, "Look, Mingma, at the end of the day, mm. forget what these three people did. Mm. There are still six people, seven people on the team, mm. and because of these three people, the other three people should not lose out your leadership." Correct, of course. Right? He, within minutes, he agreed to that. He literally. things that take us 3 4 days to climb hmm. he climbed within a few hours and he was there at the camp supporting their summit push fantastic after climbing a mountain and coming back down yeah. and carrying 50 50 kilos on his back damn imagine damn imagine you know like but anyway a lot of this stuff happens but i wanted to bring out um, and express my gratitude to mingma for being with me on this you know 8 year long journey 9 mm. year long journey being that brother that i've never had being being that friend that i never had being that guide and mentor that i never had and always standing up for that work ethic that moral code that ethics that values that he stands for and always kind of abiding by that and i honestly believe that's what makes him stand out in the mountain mm. and today Mingma is the is the part owner of an agency called Elite Expeditions which is run by Nims Dai. And I don't know if you know who Nims Dai is. I have no idea. Nims Dai is a, has a documentary on him on Netflix called 14 Peaks. Okay. He is one of the most legendary guys today in the world of the mountains. Like he is like the mountain yeti hmm. like you should you know uh, check out the his documentary called 14 peaks okay, I will. and learn a little bit about his life hmm. uh, there are these 14 8000 meter mountains in the himalaya the karakoram and 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 the and the tibet himalaya hmm. it is one a very 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 big massive it's like an getting an oscar if you can climb all the 14 8000 meter mountains hmm. and the fastest it had been done the last time was some 7 years and 7 months or something okay he did all the 14 in 6 months 6 months yeah some to give you an idea i climbed everest in 2 months mm-hmm. and he climbed like 14 everest in 6 months if if you can kind of you know wrap your head head around it and which is why you should see this documentary 14 I mean, now i'm 14 absolutely weeks. intrigued yeah. yeah so 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 mingma works with him okay and I think it is his work. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I think it is his work ethic that has allowed him to rise to that a level that a guy like Ming Nims Dai says that, hey, I want Mingma on my team and I want him to be my part of my team as a part owner, hmm. not as someone who I employ, who literally is my partner. I mean, Damn. that's like these kind of stories happen all the time. People yeah. never, never, ever get to hear. People always, you know, hear the the all the all the oh great, this guy got to the top, or you know, this happened. People hear happened. the fluff, but people don't hear the backstory what, what or the real on? story. As like to what's going on? Some day when I write my book, there are so many such stories to I be told. I would love for you to publish a <laughs> book, man. Like some day, just for but sure. But one of this story. a lot more detail i have skipped a lot more detail yeah. but this story is definitely going to be part of my book why we will definitely do a part 2 <laughs> with you uh, where we want to go in depth about uh, a lot of these mountaineering exped- expeditions and what goes on behind the scenes uh, but thank you for sharing uh, so much and thank you for sharing what what you've never shared before uh, on any of the podcasts final thoughts kuntal uh, 
how did you like the podcast i have not paid anything to <laughs> tell you but whatever you feel go for it no i think i i had a good time uh sharing about stories about mingma and how, how i felt on the top of everest or even talking about uh, how about movies yeah, you know like yeah. a lot of this stuff i have never discussed i will rarely even discuss with friends so yeah I'm a bit nervous that a lot of this is going to come out on first time on public platform so yeah, yeah I look forward to it Awesome awesome thank you so much guys uh, thank you so much Kuntal thank for you. being on the show uh, guys this has been a phenomenal episode for me as well very personally uh, and I'm sure if you've stuck by it till now I'm sure you must have gotten some value out of it uh, I will link Kuntal's YouTube LinkedIn Twitter Instagram Tinder Bumble if any <laughs> on in the description below please go subscribe go follow uh, my links will obviously be in the description so hit that follow button uh, but if you need anything else you let us know in the comments how you like the episode and uh, who would you like to see in the coming episodes please put them in the comment section and we'll try and get them on board till then it's a wrap see you soon cheers